Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coinex and in today's video we'll be looking at amazing mixing tricks for a bigger and richer bass that will cut through the mix and translate very well on any system you play it. But in this demonstration we will be focusing on mixing your bass to translate very well on phone speakers, TV speakers, laptop speakers and any other smaller speaker. So with that being said, let's dive right into the demonstration. We are going to be looking at three different methods that you can process your bass and translate well on phone speakers and any other smaller speaker but before we go into that the first thing we need to do is to set up the output channel for the phone speaker simulation so let me quickly show you how to set it up as you can see on the screen, I already set it up and inside this channel you can see Pro Q3, Fab Filter EQ and all I did was to set the same frequency with mobile phone speakers and uh, in a short while I will show you the frequencies so that you can follow along. Now for those who doesn't know how I got this channel to this side, just simply go to any channel, right click and go down to dock, dock to right. So that was how I sent it. Now all I did was to send every element in this production to into this output, this phone simulation output. To confirm that you can see with this line this is the drums routed to the drums and the drum bus routed to that output the same thing with the keys and the keys routed to that output so i will preview while i show you the frequency that i use so that you can see the difference now on the lower part i set it to 349.24 hertz just to get rid of all those low informations just the same way music sounds through a mobile phone speaker then on the high I cut 9720.2 hertz and mind you phone speaker frequencies differ so it all depends on the one you want to emulate but it is recommended to go online and search for the frequency response of the mobile phone probably the type of phone you're using or any other phone so with that being said that's all I did here I will now engage it while I play. This is the original sound without the phone speaker simulation. And now this is with it. So you may ask why do we need to do this? The reason for this is since the main aim is to make our bass instrument, especially the bass guitar, to be heard or audible on smaller speakers like phone speaker and television speaker. Simulating that output, you can now have the privilege to clearly hear what is going on and make your right adjustment to enhance the frequencies that will stand out on smaller speakers. So that is the reason for that. Now, the first method to enhance bass to stand out and translate well on smaller speakers is by using an EQ. I will explain. Over here is our log drum. When you insert an EQ, as you can see, I've already made adjustments. What you are seeing here, this adjustment I made was because I'm using the output that simulates phone speakers. So it's easier. It was easier for me to boost those frequencies that will really help the bass sit out or stand out or translate well help the bass to be more audible in smaller speakers now let me play it before and after this is without the bass i'll play only the bass this time and now this is sweet the EQ enhancement. It is subtle, but if you listen carefully, you will see the huge difference. Now, the bass is more heard on the phone speaker simulation we've connected everything to. So, this is one good way you can mix your bass and help it translates very well on smaller speaker. Now you know how you can use an EQ 
to enhance certain frequencies that will help the bass translate well on smaller speaker. You can experiment and, you know, do more findings on your own. We'll be looking at the second method and that is by using Saturn 2 by Fab Filter. What this does is to add more harmonics to any element you place it on. It's a distortion plugin, so it will enhance the harmonics and by so doing, it makes that particular element or instrument more audible. So, on the same bass channel, I inserted Saturn. I split the band into two. Now, I carefully listened by soloing this and while playing to find out the region that resides on the phone speaker simulation. Once I got it, which is what you are seeing here, let me quickly preview so that you hear. So once I got that, I boosted the drive to add more harmonics to that particular area, those frequencies in that area. And I also increased the volume to help it stand out. And on the low, as you can see, I boosted the drive a little bit because our aim is to focus on those frequencies that will be audible on smaller speakers. So let's do before and after. This is before. And this is with the Saturn 2. I believe you can clearly hear the difference. Now, have in mind that we are processing this bass from the phone simulation output. Then that will take us to the last method. The last method we'll be looking at is by duplicating your bass instrument and pitching the duplicated one and slowly blend the two together. And the one you pitched high, you spread the stereo to help it stand out on smaller speaker. So let me show you what I did. I duplicated the two. This is the original base on MIDI and this is the duplicated base. Now I consolidated it into this one. Then I pitched, as you can see, all the way up plus 12. Then I sent it to a different channel, which is channel 13 and I made it more stereo. Then on the original base, I made it mono by turning this knob all the way right. Then on this duplicated uh, channel, if you like, you can add more effect to make it stand out. But in this case, I didn't because the base already have sat on two for more harmonics. So let me preview the two so that you see what's going on. That is the two of them playing. Let me mute the main bass. That is the pitched. Let me now play the main bass. As you can see, with this method, it's easier now to do more manipulation on this base. You have more control on this base to enhance it more. So guys, on your next production, I believe with these tips and tricks, you won't struggle with processing your base, stand out and translate well on smaller speakers like phone speaker and TV speakers and more. And that will be a wrap for this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and let me know what you think in the comment section and subscribe. Remember to turn on your notification bell for future updates. Stay creative, stay safe and see you guys in the next one. Bye.